Now I'm pleased to present the that one team from Centerville, Ohio. Here for their team manager that's sitting in the audience. <laughs> photo and video, but no flash. So, audience, are you ready? Yeah! Treasures, are you ready? We're scared of spiders, but sure. <laughs> Team, are you ready? Are you ready for the revolution? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Team, you may begin. Spiders have been oppressing dogs for many years. Spiders did this because of a tension between a dog family and a spider family long ago. The spiders then spread propaganda about the dogs, which led to the events today. Ow! Why did you kick me? You're in my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. That spider over there just kicked me. This is so unfair. They've this, been doing this for years. They seriously did that to you? We need to put an end to this. What would we do? We need to make them realize that they're oppressing us. Oh, and not only that, but also the fact that they need to fix their mistakes and we need equality. Bro, yeah. you're going to be the leader of the revolution. I'm going to be the leader of the revolution. <laughs> The dog became known as the leader of the revolution, but the spiders decided that their decision was the worst decision they've ever made. But because of these events, the dog uprising started. Let's flash forward to the future. It's been like five years since this war started. I think it's time we stop and listen to the dogs. Yeah, I agree with you. Everything we learned about the dogs and their motives to ruin our lives, it just seems so silly now. Exactly. We need to figure out a way to show them that we're sorry and we were in the wrong, right. not the dogs. But how are we going to show them that we're wrong and that they're right? I know this one planet that has a dog-spider hybrid elder that knows anything in the universe. Anything? Anything. We need to ask them what to do. Great. But do you have a spaceship? Do I have a spaceship? I've got a big freaking spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> The spiders then went to go find the planet in their spaceship. Then, once they reached the planet, they went to go find the Elder to complete their quest. Alright, we're here. So, where do we go? I have no idea. Oh, look, a structure. A dog-spider hybrid? Spider! Bro, you're a spider. Okay. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This is the dog-spider hybrid thing that knows anything in the universe. So, does it have a message for us? I think so. Hold on, let's try this. Wait, try waking it up. Tickle, tickle! Tickle, tickle! Hold on. Make hey, blankets? What does that mean? I think it has more to say. Hold on, try waking tickle, it up. Tickle, 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 tickle. It's old, it falls right. asleep sometimes. <laughs> You were wrong. Come for the dogs with blankets. Oh, that makes sense. We need to give the dogs blankets so they're happy and comforted again and tell them that we're wrong. Right, but where are we going to get the money for the supplies for the blankets? I've got an idea. What? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Bake sale. Bake sale? Bake sale. Let's have a bake sale. All right, my muffins are award winning. <laughs> The spiders went back to their own planet to have a bake sale with treats such as fly cookies, beetle juice, and ant chubby pizza. With the $175 from the bake sale, they began to make blankets for the dogs. Then the dogs called SIXA, which is an organization which helps animals like dogs, to inform them that they're getting a lot of blankets, plus more in the future. Wow, this is my favorite program. Lucy is literally my idol. Breaking news! I'm interrupting your regularly scheduled program with this important announcement. I'm your host, Lucy Webspinner, and here is your news. The spiders have surrendered and agreed to treat the dogs better and help them in the aftermath of the war. Hey, As well we've been trying to reach you by your car to send a warranty. Who are you? Hey, don't <laughs> Who's there? Interrupting Cal, because it's 
honey, I love you. I get the joke. You're no fun. Like, come on. Anyways, the spiders have given the dogs blankets to help them recover in the aftermath of this war. Blankets? We need blankets. Well, Cute. Along with that, the spiders held a bake sale to raise money and to buy fabric to make the blankets. We will now return you to your regularly scheduled program. All right, who is getting fired? <laughs> Flash forward to after the war. The war has ended and the spiders make it their goal to help the dogs. treated right when we have these blankets for comfort. I'm sorry for kicking you and I learned from my mistakes. Yeah, we're really sorry. We had a goal of 35 blankets and we made 42 instead. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. I mean, Is there anything else we can do to help? I mean, I would calm down first, first of all. <laughs> but there, it'd be helpful if you got more spiders to help those dogs. Because if you get more spiders, more dogs can be comforted for. Hmm. If we get more spiders, we have more dogs in need. Yes, that would help. Go get some more spiders to help us. I think I know who might have some more spider friends. My friend Alan up here might know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Later. There's help there's right over here. Sarah. Will. Who oh, invited I Will? <laughs> the spiders went to go get more to help make blankets for the dogs. Then they started helping the dogs rebuild everything that they've destroyed in the war, which has finally happened after all this time. time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.